Quick lesson, nuclear energy is obtained by reactions like nuclear fission and fusion. It is used to produce electricity. The nuclear fission of plutonium and uranium in nuclear power plants generates a considerable amount of the world's electricity. Nuclear power reactors are responsible for roughly 10% of the power generation. Using radioactive isotope power systems, nuclear energy, which is the cleanest energy source, not only produces electricity, but also enables space travel. Stay till the end to find out why it is extremely difficult to concentrate a significant amount of uranium. Welcome to our channel, where we provide you with facts related to space and technology. Before heading on to the video, make sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit the bell icon so that you may never miss any of our updates. Nuclear power plants are expensive. It is one of the power sources with the lowest carbon output and produces a significant amount of electricity with extremely reduced carbon emissions. Nuclear power plants provide electricity in a highly dependable and economical manner that reduces greenhouse gas emissions and addresses the growing issue of climate change. A nuclear reactor starts and regulates nuclear chain reactions involving fission and fusion. They are primarily utilized at nuclear power plants for the generation of power. In 1942, the first nuclear reactor was constructed beneath the Stag Field football stadium by Nobel Prize winner Enrico Fermi at the University of Chicago. Currently, there are about 440 nuclear power plants operating around the world, and 55 more are being constructed. However, the oldest nuclear reactor is as old as 2 billion years ago. Scientists first hypothesized that natural nuclear reactors might well have existed on the early Earth in the 1950s when infomercial nuclear reactors were first developed and popularized. In a 1956 study, Paul Kuroda envisioned the conditions under which nuclear fission could spontaneously occur, and 16 years later, in West Africa, his supposition proved to be accurate. Before humans developed the first commercial nuclear power plants in the 1950s, 17 naturally occurring nuclear fission reactors were already in use, but they only produced a little amount of electricity in 1972. When some French scientists were mining the Oklo mine in their former colony of Gabon, Africa, they took some specimens of uranium ore and did some experiments. Typically, uranium ore comprises three isotopes, uranium-238, uranium-234, and uranium-235, radioactive materials with varying neutrons in the nuclei. However, they found that the ore had 0.717 uranium at 235. A slight variation of 0.003 was apparent, which was very important for scientists. Most uranium oil is normally constituted of 0.72 uranium-235. French nuclear officers discovered this gap to be truly worrisome because uranium has the potential to produce nuclear bombs and other things. And it is also found in small amounts in the Earth's mantle and even asteroids and comets. The French had discovered something quite odd while performing a routine isotopic evaluation on uranium ore from Gabon. This led them to believe that about 200 kilos of uranium at 235 had vanished. However, the missing material at 0.003 had experienced nuclear fission and divided into other atoms rather than being stolen or lost. Thanks to nuclear officials and scientists who eventually remembered the old papers of Kuroda and eventually realized some of that uranium-235 was utilized in an organic nuclear reactor two billion years ago, this unusual uranium from Gabon provided proof of something extraordinary, the first organic nuclear reactor ever found. Since the first nuclear power plant didn't exist until the 1950s and therefore only produced a small amount of electricity, the discovery of another naturally occurring nuclear reactor perplexed researchers. In comparison, nuclear power was first developed in Africa thousands of years ago. Due to the precise requirements for nuclear reactions, this was difficult to believe. Since the reactor in this case was a naturally occurring uranium deposit in the Oklo mining carbon, Perhaps the stony surface and temperature were conducive to certain nuclear reactions with the radioactive uranium. For a nuclear reaction to happen, there must be an abundant supply of uranium, as well as an abundance of neutrons and a controlling element like water, according to several scientific theories. According to one widely accepted theory, even though 0.72% of uranium may seem insignificant, it was sufficient for a nuclear fission reaction because uranium-235 naturally decays into thorium and releases a neutron, satisfying the requirement for neutrons. The fission reaction starts when this neutron needs to react with another uranium-235. 
when atoms are split into smaller ones, energy is emitted along with some neutrons. These neutrons merge with uranium-235 to generate the unstable isotope uranium-236, which is so unstable that it splits into many smaller stable atoms and some neutrons. The resulting neutrons then incorporate with other atoms to proceed with the chain reaction. The third principle of regulation was a groundwater recharge flow. The water likely slowed down the neutrons and energy heated the water over time. Eventually, sufficient water would have boiled away to leave no longer neutrons to slow. Neutrons would shoot off into the ground without reacting to anything, and the third condition was achieved. The reactor ultimately slowed to a halt, departing only just a few traces that it had ever occurred, including the mystery of the missing uranium. The Gabon reactors had a mean power output of about 100 kilowatts, or 1,000 fluorescent lamps, compared to commercial pressurized boiling water reactor nuclear power. This cycle likely continued for hundreds of thousands of years. After all, the uranium-235 got used up and there was not enough to keep the reactions going. The Gabon nuclear reactors are remarkable, even if they only generate little amounts of electricity since they spontaneously began operating around 2 billion years ago and continued to do so for up to 1 million years. The Gabon reactor's capacity to securely store a variety of radioactive byproducts of nuclear fission for 2 billion years demonstrates that long-term geomorphic storage of nuclear waste is feasible. These are organic nuclear reactors and their long-term preservation is likely even more remarkable than the reactors themselves. The surrounding carbon-containing rocks and clay seem to have sustained the spontaneous nuclear reactors by producing and maintaining reducing conditions which largely prevented the flow of uranium and other radioactive nuclear fission byproducts. According to experts, the Gabon natural nuclear reactors are still distinctive and undoubtedly more incomparable than the most beneficial samples from the moon. It is thought that perhaps two billion years ago, several other sites on Earth had natural nuclear reactors functioning. It's also possible that there are other naturally occurring nuclear reactors that we haven't yet discovered, or that have long since been decayed, oxidized and dissolved. The 16 naturally found nuclear reactors in Oklo would completely be mined out for their rich uranium ore, which is upsetting for research because only a limited fraction of uranium samples, often with imaged field notes, are available for scientists to use in their investigation of these exceptional nuclear reactors. There are currently no other known naturally occurring nuclear reactors, making the fission reactors and components unique. The mining of the last naturally occurring nuclear reactor was at risk of being done in the late 1990s. However, in a reactor located in the Bangom Minimal Uranium Deposit, 30 kilometers from Oklahoma, we propose preserving this unique scientifically important deposit for present and future research. This deposit is no less distinctive and more unrepeatable than the most valued specimen. Over the past 40 years, scientists have gathered knowledge regarding the operation of these nuclear reactors and how it was preserved in the geologic record, but the Gabon reactors remain a mystery to them. Keep in mind that a high uranium-235 isotope abundance is only one of the four prerequisites for the emergence of a natural nuclear reactor. Uranium-235 depletion to less than 4% of the uranium is one of the reasons why natural nuclear reactors only developed in uranium deposits 2 billion years ago. If the amount of uranium-235 had been higher earlier in Earth's history, wooden fission reactors would have been more likely to occur. It was discovered that there were no large uranium concentrations on Earth before 2 billion years ago. Most of the rocks on Earth only contain a few parts per million or billion of uranium. Uranium is frequently concentrated utilizing hydrothermal circulation, which picks up the element and concentrates it in a recently formed thermal deposit. Although uranium dissolves, it can be challenging to dissolve extremely stable compounds produced by uranium tents in their reduced form which makes it difficult for this hydrothermal circulation to thicken and pick up in the water. The early atmosphere of Earth stored very little oxygen, making it extremely difficult to concentrate a significant amount of uranium. However, the good oxidation event, which started around 2.4 billion years ago, saw a dramatic increase in the atmospheric oxygen content from 1 to 15%. Make sure to tell us your views in the comment section. If you have reached this far, like this video, subscribe to our channel and press the notification bell so you may not miss any future updates. See you in another video. Until then, take care.